Uh, my pal's on the line. I got to take this call. Uh, Chuck in North Carolina. That's right. What's going on, Opie? How are you, Chuck? You've been listening to this shit. I listen every day, man. It's like them getting up and taking a piss in the morning. I can't do that. Thank you. This Chuck guy is the Is best. this the guy that says light in the loafers? Uh, he's the one. <laughs> People, no, that ain't me. Listen, he, he uh, he's a Christmas tree guy in North Carolina, and he pisses and, yeah. and pees around the trees and stuff. I think I've heard him before. And he sells his trees with the roots because he's a nice guy. Oh, you plant that shit after Christmas. That's right. Anyway, Listen, what is- I don't I don't know much about that homo shit, but my little <laughs> sister used to be a hairdresser, and she was around fags all the time, and I used to see them. Seems like to me that damn Fez has got a damn thing for Ronnie. Anytime Ronnie gets some attention away from him or anything like that, goddamn, he goes off the fucking deep end. I, 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 that's the way I get it. I don't know. I know he's fucked up in the head, but I believe he's got it for Ronnie. If we could, if we could clean up your language a little bit, you make a very good point, sir. <laughs> what did I say? Ah, homo, fags, you know. Well, this guy's just speaking from the heart, you know. <laughs> you, might, <laughs> you might want to show Dixie. You might want to show a little tolerance, just a little. I've uh, I've not been around too many homosexuals or gays. Okay. The ones I have are very possessive and protective over their damn friend, spouse, partner, butthole buddy, whatever you want to call. <laughs> but pirate. He was doing great there for a while. So tolerant. <laughs> he was trying. <laughs> Really gave it a shot. I try real hard. You man. try it, man. It's all right. You're making an effort. Did, yeah. you, did uh, you ever get hit on by a gay guy? I was in the bathroom one time and uh, in a truck stop taking a damn dump. And my, it was early in the morning. My damn right shoe was untied. And this fucker in the next damn stall uh, all of a sudden said, real gay sounding guy said, Would you mind if I tied your shoe? I said, you tie my fucking shoe off and fucking stomp your fucking hands. Wow, that's wow. a weird way to react to hospitality. Exactly. Guy's trying to help you out and you're being rude, Chuck. Yeah, he just wanted to tie your you shoe. Gotta, Wait, I you saw your shoe was untied me. and I offered to help. I'm starting to think that's the move, though. You go in a stall with a, a shoe untied. Yeah. And that starts the conversation. Yeah. That's you. You you, you, you were getting it. You were jumpstarting that thing. You were, uh, you were egging him on. I can put up with a lot of things, but I ain't into that damn homosexual shit. That's disgusting. <laughs> Why don't you put your dick through a hole in the thing and just get your dick sucked, Chuck? What if it's two ladies? I had, I, had a pro, I had a prostitute one time years ago when I was a kid. Said for five more dollars she'd stick her, her finger up my ass. And I said, Why, Why would you want to do that? She said, You'll shoot further when you get home. And I said, I'll shoot just fine. You just keep your finger out of my ass. All right. Uh, you missed mm. out. You're a pretty clever seven year old. Right. That- <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I wasn't seven. I guess I was about 18. I didn't know much. Oh, okay. You said uh, you were a kid, little kid. How was the hooker? Uh, she wasn't bad. <laughs> yeah? All I had was $17, and she took it. Mm, what did you, you get, get for the, the stout, Did you Chuck? earn a dollar a year? <laughs> <laughs> what did you get for the $17? That's why you didn't do it. You didn't have any extra money. $17, I think she told me it was called a half and half. No, that's uh, a fucking suck. A half and half is a fucking suck. That's what it was. Oh, That's okay. Was. Oh, there you go. She wanted, she wanted five more dollars. Stick her finger in my what is it, Jimmy says, in my hiney. <laughs> 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 that fucking Jimmy, that motherfucker ain't right. I ain't shitting. He's got some damn issues. Jimmy has no issues. Let me tell you something. Yes. I was, didn't he talk about on that damn special on TV about standing on a porch and jacking off on somebody or something? No. Something similar. Un, it was under, under a porch. the porch. Monster ring. And we blow yeah, each who other. Who does it so. on a porch? You, on a porch, under a porch, on the fucking roof. I ain't never jacked off on somebody like that. that well, there's a little more there. than that. Yeah, we didn't jack off on each other, sir. We were sucking each other's penises. I say something else I did that Jimmy might appreciate. When I was in the ninth grade, this damn quarterback on our football team thought he was hot shit. So we come in from practice one day. I shit in his shoe and touch the toe right where the shit would go right down in his damn shoe. God damn, he put his shoe on. God damn, he's madder than hell. <laughs> I can't blame him. <laughs> put his foot in shit. <laughs> I think Jimmy could appreciate that. That's one, a though. great story. Yeah, that is a good from one. both sides. I could see that one. Right. <laughs> well, I've, I've been in more shit than I can tell. You hmm. wouldn't believe it. All right. Well, you, I think you might have a little take on the Fez thing, but we're going to try to do the Jizz show. 
Jim Let Norton and Fez. One more thing. Y'all was talking about that military shit this morning. Yeah. Have y'all ever heard of what they call a VFW? It's where all the veterans of foreign war go to drink. Yeah, yeah, of course. Live music and stuff. Sure. About 15 or 20 years ago, this old man got put in jail because a young guy coming out talking about he was in the war and shit. He beat him with his fucking oxygen tank. Well, I, I, I would, I'm not surprised at all. He was from, he called it uh, WW2, was what war he was in. Right. And he beat the son of a bitch with a fucking oxygen tank. Those VFW halls, I used to go with my dad. Wow, they are, they are, yeah. they were, I haven't been in about 10 years, I, were a great time. I did gigs there, yeah. and a bunch did, of gigs. Did you really? Oh, yeah, over the years, VFW, sure. Those guys, it, they don't give a fuck. The jokes they would tell. Fuck, oh, the, yeah. fuck the PC shit. They, they don't believe in that at all. If you can't get laid in a VFW, something's fucking wrong with you. We never Somebody in there will suck your dick or fuck you, I guarantee you. It's all guys. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I thought you were against the homo <laughs> thing. I went, with, I went with my dad in Kings Park, Long Island, to the VFW hall there. Those guys were the best. I never saw a broad in there. Unless oh, maybe maybe my dad said, hey, my son's coming, so let's uh, hide the broads. But I never saw a woman in there. Down here on Friday and Saturday night, they have live music. They don't sell drinks, but you can bring your liquor in and buy your chaser and stuff there. I damn, they get fucking tore down. Now y'all probably wouldn't like it. It's country music, raise hell, and yeah. kill black babies and stuff like that. But but they have a good time. All right. All, All right. right. Piss. Yeah, we gotta take leaks and stuff, Chuck. Thank you, Chuck. Keep your eyes on the hey. road, Chuck. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm, we're, gonna huh. I'm gonna come up there the first year sometime. Okay. Yeah, you come in studio and do some radio with us. You ain't gonna make fun of me like that fucking what was that Bobo's name? It dick got hard every time you talking about tits or something. Uh, yeah, no, we won't do that. That's one of my favorite clips ever. Thank you, Chuck. Always a All pleasure, that. sir. Talk to you. All right.